Hi folks, I'm Steve Judd. I'm a professional astrologer. And what you've got here is my monthly forecast for each sun sign of the zodiac brought to you courtesy of those wonderful people at asktheanswer.com, the UK's premium phone line for finding people who know exactly what's right for you. Hope it helps. Enjoy. And this is Aries. You've got absolutely no idea what's coming up. This is going to be the month that you're going to remember for the rest of the year. It's going to be chaotic, unpredictable, possibly disruptive, certainly frenetic, possibly manic, probably very stimulating and extremely developmental. And you can expect the first couple of weeks to be full of information, full of words, full of developments. Now, if you're supremely confident and you're actually comfortable with taking big decisions, you can actually surf these waves of change and make incisive actions in the first couple of weeks of March. But only 3 or 4% of you are going to get away with it. Only the real supreme confident ones of you. For most of you, you're likely to attract a degree of verbal confusion. Too many words, not enough action. And it'd be very tempting to do the headless chicken. For some of you, particularly those of you born in March, the last few years have actually been very difficult indeed. And the coming one month in many ways is summarising the last few years and closing permanent doors. So this is not a time for major plan. This is not a time for big decision or action. This is a time now to, for, to step back, look at things more objectively, detached, look at your life over the last two years, and this applies to all of you, and ask yourself, what's ended in the last two or three years? What's gone? Because now, this coming month, you're in a state of mental burial. You can mentally release things now. You can't make new decisions yet. That's what April's about. March, let go. As far as March 2012 goes, Aries, have a cleansing month. There you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to find out more about me, you can look at my website, stevejug.com. And failing that, you can come back here next month to find me once again, courtesy of those wonderful people at asktheanswer.com. See you next month. Bye.